guys, it's Tori, your 2015 Monster Energy Pit Reporter, and I am here right now with Trenton from Hands Like Houses. How's it going? Doing good, doing yeah. good. First time I've seen you since Warped, and you guys yeah. have been keeping pretty busy, huh? Flat out, had about six days at home, and that was the longest I've had at home in the last little while, because Warped went straight into the studio, finished up the album, um, Dissonance, and yeah, pretty much did an Australian run straight back here, so. Yeah. Absolutely never, crazy. never rested. Never rest. <laughs> yeah. So you're bringing up a pretty good point here. That yeah. new album. Yeah. Um, can you tell us a little more about that? It's finished. It's finished. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh man, it, it's been a long process because you know we got to the end of the first recording session and before Warped, which was um, last time we actually caught up with you, and yeah. it was it was getting close, but we kind of were a week from the end, and we thought this is good, but it could be better. And I think mm -hmm. we're just going to constantly the rest of our lives think if we put it out as it is, it's like. This can be a whole lot better. So we just came back with a few fresh songs, um, you know, rewrote a couple of bits and pieces that we thought, you know, could be better. And um, but yeah, so you know, it's ready, it's done. It's been pushed back a tiny bit just because the whole process has been a bit of a um, just figuring out how long it's going to take. But yeah, getting it out early next year. Nice. So very excited to hear that. And I know it's been a long process, but I think it's going to be worth the wait. Is that? We, we hope so. We think yeah. so. The last time I saw you guys was Warped. Yep. Last day of Warped, and um, this was your second year on the tour. Yeah. So you guys are pretty involved in the community and, yep. and whatnot. So what separates Warped from your typical show or any other festival for you guys? Warped is a lot more social because you never know what time you're going to play. So generally, you're up out of bed from uh, you know 11 at the latest, and then yeah. up till you know one or two the next morning. So you know it's a lot more time to I guess hang out in between everything and um, and yeah, I mean as community-wise, it's just you know. Uh, we we have so many fr friends on the tour and pretty much every band we've made friends with along the way has ended up on the tour, if not this time, than the last time we did it. It's just a social experience and it's because it's an all-day thing, a lot of work, um, longer days, and I guess because you've got the whole, um, you know, signings and, um, you know, catering and all that sort of stuff, it's kind of a, just a very different routine and environment. Yeah, definitely. So it is very different from your typical show and there's just so much happening. 70 plus bands every day, all day. It's uh, it's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so that makes for a lot of really awesome memories. So for you, what was the highlight of the 2015 tour? Um, it, it also, it's all a bit of a blur, really. Like it was just a lot of fun um, overall. Uh, we had an off day. We just floated down to Comal River in Texas yeah. with um, with a bunch of friends and and yeah, it was just really good fun off day. So that was probably a highlight for us. Yeah. Um, the tour as a whole was just awesome every day in and out. You know, mm -hmm. just really solid turnouts. A lot of people coming out to check out what we're doing and um, met a lot of cool people. So Definitely. and great to see so many cool up and coming bands as well as you know obviously the big ones. Mm -hmm. um, just day in day out, just say no, I'm going to go watch Bear Two today. I'm going to watch Paris today. I'm going to watch Pierce today and. Just, yeah, so many great bands. You guys definitely have a super loyal fan base. We do. And that's something else that's really awesome about Warped is that yeah. you're meeting your fans every day. I saw you guys almost always at your merch tent meeting fans, yeah, which was I amazing. Yeah, I know there's a few of us that you know, help run the merch tent. Um, and just, you know, just being around the festival is just cool, bumping into people and having a bit of a chat, which is, for me, always more meaningful than just sitting at a table. Hey, how you doing? Cool. Can, where do you want me to sign it? All right. You know, and yeah. that's why, you know, we try and avoid doing specific meet and greets per se, just because it means you can, like, and that's why Warped is cool, because you can wander around and it's it's more of an organic thing the way you would anyone on the street, because it's always cool meeting people that you look up to. I still get a kick out of meeting people that I, yeah. you know, that I respect and admire. But yeah, just having it outside of that, I guess, constructed system system yeah. yeah it just it's, it's nice to just be able to wander around and bump into people for sure mm -hmm. and you were also teaching tei workshops yeah. which is so cool because you're really getting to pass down your knowledge of the music industry to your fans yeah. so what was that experience like for you um it was great you know um it is a cool experience, like I said, just to kind of pass on what we know, like what we've learned, because at the end of the day, like, who knows what our career would have been differently if we'd had a few words of advice here and there. Um, I mean, you know, for me, I was focusing on vocal technique and passing on some of what I've learned um, in a technical sense. And it, it actually really helped me focus a lot of, especially talking about songwriting, really helped me focus a lot of my concept of, you know, just being able to tell it to someone else helps you define your own perception of what it is. So that had a big impact on me rewriting a lot of our songs. So it just kind of helped. I'd be kind of talking about it. I'm like, oh, yeah, that just came out of my mouth, Matt. Nice. <laughs> so I just kind of, yeah, it worked. And um, it was definitely a good process. Yeah, Hopefully you get to do it again. Looks like a beneficial experience for everybody involved, yeah, course, which yeah. is awesome. So you guys are keeping busy, as we mentioned. Warp Tour is over now. So what is next for you guys? Upcoming plans? Um, yeah, well, pretty much we wrap up this tour and we got a little bit of a breather while the album comes out. Just, uh, I mean, just over the winter break, uh, we get to go home and dodge the cold. 
<laughs> uh, it's the great thing about being Australian. Uh, we'll skip the cold and then we'll probably be back once it starts warming up. So we're kind of working all the ins and outs of that. We've got some cool things happening for next year. Pretty excited for where the new album's going to take us next year. Nice. Very excited for you guys and cannot wait to hear the new music. Everybody watching, make sure you share your favorite Warped Tour moments with the hashtag Warped Looks Back and I will see you in the pit. Bye. <laughs>